So good, so well constructed, so well done. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my 10 fall essentials. Y'all should know by now that fall is literally my favorite season to get dressed. You can add so many different things just to make a look. There are just certain things that I just know I like to have as like my base pieces that makes getting dressed and putting together outfits that much easier. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first piece on this list is a fitted turtleneck top. Now there is something to be said about turtlenecks. I do think that they are a fall quintessential, but particularly this fitted one to me is another quintessential that I feel works really well for a variety of different fits. This particular one is from Spanx. And let me just say right now, like this is a really good fitted turtleneck. I don't know what it is, the Spanx technology. It's not even like it has a lot of like sucking in power or anything like that. Like, you know, we're used to with traditional Spanx pieces. Something about this is just very flattering on everybody. Literally one of my friends, she saw me wearing it multiple times. She literally was like, you keep wearing that. And I'm like, yeah, cause it's so comfortable, but it's also just very nice looking. And she ended up buying it and she loved it as well. It just has a little oomph. It has something that just makes it work. I love wearing this, to be honest, with anything. It can go with mini skirts, midi skirts, maxi skirts, jeans, trousers. But surprisingly, all of this one is like a little bit more on the thin side. It does still trap in a nice amount of heat. Nothing too excessive, but just enough where you do feel comfortable if it is like more of a colder day. And obviously it layers really, really nicely because it's so thin and flush against the skin. You can easily layer blazers, sweaters, jackets, what have you on top of this. Spanx, whatever y'all did with this one, keep doing it. Another quintessential is a good trouser, a good slack. This one from Aritzia, it is their effortless pant and they do come in multiple colors, but of course I got black. <laughs> but I will say a black trouser or even like brown, dark brown, chocolate brown, or even gray, kind of like a wooly gray, all work well for this season. Obviously, if you're a more colorful girl, get your colors. They have them in multiple colors as well. This is the type of pants that you can layer some leggings underneath this. So if it is more of a colder day, then this is something that you can easily layer something underneath. I do love the width of these. These are pretty true wide leg. They're not like excessively wide leg, you know? It feels like a bit more tailored and a bit more structured. Now these do come in like regular, petite, and tall. I ended up getting the tall version. I am 5'8 and they're actually pretty, pretty tall on me. I got tall because I did want to like wear this with heels and I knew that with heels, I still would want it to be a little kind of like just a smidge of dragging on the floor, like a smidge. If you're ever just in a space where you're like, I don't really know what to wear, but you still wanna look put together. I've said this so many times. This is the type of pant that you could easily pull out and pair with anything and it still looks like a look. Next, we have a knit cardigan and this particular one is from Havenwell Within. It's actually sort of a recent-ish pickup. I did a collaboration with them on my Instagram. What I love about this one is how thick it is. This is like a heavy knit, like cable knit sweater. This is definitely like more on the oversized kind of knit and I like that. I do love how deep the V is because sometimes with fall, especially being in LA, the weather can get a little like, it can be fall, but low key is still a little warm, you know? I feel like the holes make it breathable. And also I do really appreciate the weight to this because it does fall really nicely. And for me, because I have a short torso, I feel like this does kind of like elongate my torso just a bit. This is definitely one that I'll be wearing as soon as the temperature drops. I'm really happy to now have this in my wardrobe. And kind of in that same vein, we have an oversized blazer and I wanted to show this one from Everlane. If you have not watched my Everlane haul, then I will link it above. And I wanted to feature this one in particular because I do feel like as the weather and the temperatures drop, this one sort of fits the bill a little bit more. This kind of gives me a little bit more of like a jacket vibe. I feel like it's like kind of blazer jacket. I was gonna say black it, but that sounds weird. So we're gonna just go with blazer jacket. <laughs> it is a bit more heavyweight, which I do like. And also I do think that this can work really well with that turtleneck that I talked about in the beginning of this video. A blazer is such a staple and I am a blazer kind of fiend, I will say. I have a couple of blazers in my closet and by a couple, I mean like 10 of them. <laughs> like let's say your outfit is already finished, but you feel like it's just missing like one little thing to just make it pop a little bit more. Just throw on a blazer and I promise you, it will bring the outfit fully together. The next on the list is a dark wash pair of jeans. I almost feel like this is like, duh, but maybe not, maybe not. I think all types of denim has their moment and their seasons to thrive. Medium to medium dark wash to dark wash to me are very much fall staples in my opinion. I do feel like dark wash tends to play a bit better with the fall tones and like just the fall vibes. I am featuring the barrel jeans. <laughs> I know we're already talking about these, but we're talking about them again and again. It is one of my favorites. I've already said that in two of the videos, but I'm saying it again. But if you're not into barrel jeans, any kind of dark wash, I will say bell bottoms, wide leg, cropped, whatever version you prefer, I do feel like dark wash just works 
really well with the fall. Next we have a coat and specifically a trench coat. I think a trench coat is the perfect coat to transition. I do think that a trench coat in the fall makes a little bit more sense than the pea coat and I love a good pea coat. I love a good structured tailored coat. I do think that a trench coat just makes a little bit more sense for the weather. A trench coat gives just enough warmth just enough coverage and you know in the case that it's a little more rainy or a little just like wet outside i think a trench coat kind of provides that layer of protection against the elements when you're wearing a nice outfit kind of like a blazer it's a nice kind of added addition to round out whatever outfit you have going on usually when i'm wearing more of like a structured tailored pea coat to be honest the pea coat is like an integral part of the outfit if that makes sense like the pea coat is really truly part of the look I'm going for versus I will say like a trench coat is something that you can throw on as just like the added portion like the outfit will still be the outfit if you weren't wearing a trench coat but you can wear the trench coat for that added protection does that make sense when it comes to trench coats I do prefer them to have a little bit more fluidity and a little bit more movement and I do feel like this one does have that something I can easily throw on or just fold up easily in a tote bag and carry with me in the case that I do need it and next we have a satin skirt it's something to be said about a mid-d satin skirt i don't know what it is i don't know what it is actually i do know what it is it's the ability for it to show off your boots that you're wearing i love wearing a mid-d satin skirt with a pair of bomb boots okay but it also just kind of like allows you to play with your shoes a little bit more something about fall footwear just does it for me a mid-d satin skirt allows the shoe to have its moment this one is from aritzia and it's kind of like an oldie but a goodie this particular one has lasted me for a few years now if you're trying to find where to get something like this I would definitely say Aritzia has some pieces that you can like hold on to for a good amount of time it has a nice kind of like elastic on the waistband and it also helps with like tucking in things like I've tucked it in into like a little sweater or you can wear it with just like a t-shirt whatever your preference is I do believe that this skirt works really well for that and next we have a leather jacket a nice collared leather jacket and you want something that's just a little bit more like edgy and it pairs really well with that midi satin skirt that I just referenced the leather jacket is quintessential in my wardrobe I do feel like a leather jacket is like an integral part of an outfit. Like if I'm thinking of an outfit and I wanna wear that jacket, I'm thinking about how to frame the outfit around that jacket. I like to go for one that has a bit more length. I would say this is more of a long line jacket. Something about this long line one just fits a bit more with my personal style, a bit more structured, and it feels a little less casual and a little bit more like elevated. So if you want something that feels a bit more structured, streamlined, maybe even something that you can wear into the office if you're a professional baddie, I will definitely say that this kind of like long line leather jacket will definitely do the job. And then we have a pair of loafers. For me, it's these Gucci loafers. Oh God. I bought them not really on a whim, but kind of sorta. Like a couple years ago, I saw another influencer talk about them. Yeah, I was like, I think I want that in my wardrobe. I think I, I think I want that. And went to the Gucci store me and my friend and we were like okay let's try it on we weren't really like super super bent on buying it that day but i just wanted to try it on to see what it would look like and i ended up loving it and i walked out the store with it and to this day one of the best purchases that i have made i can say that with my chest so good so well constructed so well done it's just enough but it's still understated for a very kind of dressed down casual outfit whenever i wear the loafers i just feel like it elevates it just a little bit now i'm not saying to go out and buy the gucci ones but I am saying that a good loafer can do that to an outfit. Truly, I have already gotten my cost per wear. I've gotten my cost per wear. Like, I think I've gotten it down to probably like maybe $50. I feel like it could be lower. That's how much I've worn them. They are worth the investment if you are wanting to invest in a pair of really good loafers that will last you. They're really, really good. And then we have the knee-high boot that I was about to go on a whole rant on earlier, but now I can go on a rant about it now. When I say I love a knee-high boot, I mean that I have a lot in my wardrobe, so much so that I have to give some away. Quintessential. I don't care what kind you like to go for. To me, I would say a black knee-high boot is quintessential. But let's say you're not a fan of black, then I don't want to say that you can only wear black, wear whatever you want. But to me, a black knee-high boot will be your savior when it comes to putting together an outfit and needing a final piece. If you're going somewhere for the fall, you're going to be out there for an extended period of time and you can only bring a few shoes. Definitely a black knee-high boot and a loafer. This particular one is from Naturalizer and when I say I've worn these boots down, I've had them for about a year now and I've worn them so much since then. I got these in a collaboration that I did with the brand. Oh my god, I can't rave about these enough and neither can the people on the website because these boots stay selling out. They're that good. It's just a really well constructed boot. It's comfortable. It fits both narrow calf, wide calf. They have the options for that. Wide foot, narrow foot, they have the options for that as well. It pairs really well with the other leather pieces I have in my wardrobe. I have many others that I genuinely do love and enjoy and a pair of knee high boots to me just rounds 
out like the essentials that you should have in your wardrobe. Like that final piece to really just have like a nice sort of like capsule, if you will. So don't knock the power of a knee high boot. Don't knock the power of a good knee high boot, I promise you. And that rounds out this video, y'all. We did it. If you made it to the end of this video, good on you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the vibes here, then I would love if you give this video a thumbs up. And if you've seen other videos of mine, and this is like your fourth or fifth video, and you're like, I'm liking this vibe, I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe and join this family. I love showing up for y'all. As always, I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time, bye.